Get this uh, little tag along prowler here. Let's see how much damage we have here. So some of the stuff we wanted to show you. What was that you were talking about? Which side? Oh, sorry. We got some damage down there. We'll have to fix this here. We're going to replace the decking. We'll end up putting a radiant barrier on here like we do the others. <laughs> now that is a shame. So here is the decking. Look how sharp this is. That's why it's poking through. Look how high that is. Even though the decking was there, they didn't paint it over enough. You can see it right here. That's it there. You see how sharp it is. That's what's going to puncture the, the roofing. So you start getting these little leaks in here. That one's bad too. And that's where it starts leaking in there. The, the siding right here is too tall. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm showing you. The siding is too tall. And instead of peening it over or cutting it back, they just left it there. You can see the staples right there. They just left it there so it compromised the roof. Same thing with the air conditioners. I always show these. You can't get it, your hand underneath there. You can't get it to drain properly. Those are too low. They really need to be up on the curbs. But when the debris gets all caught up in there, it won't drain right. It won't drain right at all. Well, keep you posted on how we do with our little tow behind camper. Right, this is our little prowler. Back wall was rotted right here. This is just on the on the opposite side of this is the shower stall. So and that's that's still strong right there. You can see it, but all this is like just absolutely rotted. You see it just mulch. Absolutely mulch, just like this. Ran all the way up the wall right here. Same with this side over here. So we tore all this down. We're going to rebuild all this. We're going to let it dry out a bit. We're going to hit it with some mold kill. And then we're going to stitch it all back together. Put a new piece on there and get all this out. And we're going to add some strength to this. Now this is real thin right here. Very thin. If I push any harder than this, I'm going to be on the inside of that closet. Poke a hole through it. If I were to take all of this apart, I could really dig into a wallet pretty good and it's unnecessary. So I got a couple of little ways I'm gonna add some strength to it. More than likely what I'm gonna do is put a piece of foam on there and adhere it to it to give it some strength. That's more than likely what I'm gonna do. And it also act as insulation. It's just inch and a half. So I've got some, uh, we've used the ISO board before is what it's called. It's commercial grade type of insulation. But uh, this thing is just an absolute mess. Now the front is the same way. Let me sneak around you. Come around the scaffold here. We're going to do the same here. We're going to take all of this, but you can see, well, hopefully, you can. Maybe the light hit it a certain way. See how rotted that is? That's the way it was down in the other corner. So we'll take all these panels off and we'll fix this as well. Everything on here. Bring that camera back a bit. So that's where we're at right now. We did some work on the roof. We'll get back to that in a little bit and I'll show you what we did up there. All right, this is the front so far. This is all the rot that I was telling you about. I was trying to open this up on the last clip. But it's rotted all the way down there. It's going down the floor. And there's the ceiling of the roof assembly. See how rotted it is right here. We've got this section here. And we're not, again, the same scenario applies. This, right up underneath there is the ceiling. It's just eighth inch. That's it. Just that little eighth inch right there. So on the other side, there's the vinyl. See the white under there? So you, you could end up tearing into a whole bunch of stuff unnecessarily. We just want to make sure it doesn't sag really no strength on it. It's not a structural item. So we're going to fix all that. We'll clean it up, do the same. Then uh, we've got some little rotting issues around here like this. Truss is rotted here. This is a band. That's what it is, an edge band. Connects all the connects all the trusses together. That's what this does. And then also it works so you can screw 
the termination bar, when the roofing comes over, there's a bar here. Usually the awning collects to. You see we've got some there, we've got some over there. And this whole section, this was the back that I was telling you about where the shower is. See that thin piece? I ended up having to tear all that out. And the other section was over there in the closet. I don't want to tear all that out and unnecessarily, especially when it doesn't really make that big of a difference. All we have to do is add strength to it. But we have to reframe all this because all of this was rotted. It was rotted really bad. It pretty much just fell out. So we will put a new ceiling panel in there. And then we'll put new trusses and I'll reframe it all out. And we'll, we'll get it together. Just giving you this update here. I just gave this a little tug. And it's just coming out already. You see? And I noticed this too. It doesn't even make it there. They just use them wide staples to kind of put them together. No glue in there either. That's the way they put these things together. And you can tell that this never made it. And that's all they did. Because this piece is pretty tight. Down here. But this one didn't make it. And this is a main piece that holds the siding on. So... So that thing just it just wants to fall right out of there. So I'm going to cut a new piece out of some solid stock right there and put a whole new piece in there instead of doing the composite like I said earlier. I think one thick piece would be great. Then it'll give me something to bond all these into. So we'll get it all together. All right. This is what we got here. Now this is the front passenger's corner. This is plywood. You see the grain right here? This is called plies. Each one of these is a ply. There's a ply, there's a ply, there's another ply. You see, those are called plies. But when you put a screw in there, it just separates the ply. It really doesn't have any bonding power. So there's that corner mold that comes over here, and that's what needs to be sealed. If not, it'll rot that out, and then you end up with this. That's why we really tell people to keep these sealed. And somebody just put silicone on there. There's a silicone. That's what it does. That's why I do not like silicone. And in order to get this resealed, we gotta clean this pretty well because nothing sticks to silicone. But if you were to look at that real close right in there, you'd swear that's sealed. The that whole thing will peel right off, see? So, don't use silicone. Look at this whole piece. Yeah. So, we're gonna redo this here with another piece. We're not gonna use the same plywood. They use the plywood so they can get the shape. Look at that arch. So, it's easier for them just to cut that shape out of plywood than anything else but uh, we're gonna probably see if we can get a piece of composite in there composite is um, it's uh, like a plastic wood it doesn't rot it's pretty flexible so we're gonna see if we can switch that in there but if we don't I'll cut another piece of solid stock in there and I'll shape it in that way it may take this whole piece out put one big inch and a half on there and run it down all the way that may be a better idea so uh, we'll see when we take it apart and uh, how good it'll come back together. Back in our prowler, get the roof deck on. We already made all the repairs to the inside there. Stitched up the front here. Put all new pieces in there. I think we already showed all this. Now we're just getting the decking on. Getting some glue on there. Put some new insulation in here, foil up, reflects UV light. Then on the other side of this panel, this is a radiant barrier sheathing. Same thing, reflect UV light. You need to have about three quarters of an inch below this. You have to have a gap to when it's flipped over. Back here at our prowler, we've got front wall we rebuilt, put all new arched pieces in here. That'll help the siding a lot. Gonna have new insulation going in here, that's what we're doing now, trying to get the insulation in. That whole board in the bottom was rotted all the way over there, that inside corner, so we patched and put all that back together. Everything's uh, screwed, glued, just need to be tattooed. So, Got this plastic on here. Here's a concern, especially with this type of siding. You can see some of the rust right there. 
That's because there's no vapor barrier. When the condensation sits on here, like even on a warm day, in the morning you'll have dew on there. If you look at some metal roofs as you drive down the road, you'll see morning dew on there. The dew is on this side and it's on this side. So all that condensation runs down and starts rotting out the wall chronically. So we're going to put this on here and that'll prevent any condensation from getting in there. It'll get wrapped down up inside there. After that one gets tucked up, this will roll down. So any water that any condensation it does get behind there, we're going to make sure it weeps out well. But that's some of the problems that we found. So that's all we're doing now is just trying to get it all back together. Even that's been pocket screwed all together in there. And uh, it's coming along pretty well. So we got the roof on. And that's what we're doing. We're waiting right now just to get these pieces because these pieces will roll up and then we'll put all our lights and get this whole thing assembled and uh, we'll show you what we did on the back wall we're not quite there yet but we'll give you a sneak peek I guess because we're going to go in and fix that bathroom floor but on the back side over here got the same thing we got the plastic coming down we just haven't fixed this we showed you this the other day but a couple of, couple of clips ago I explained how this was real soft and how we were going to get strength to it. So we foamed in another piece of ISO rigid board. This is laminated to this now so you get all that strength. I don't want to start tearing all that apart. On the other side of this piece is the vinyl. There's no reason to take it all apart. It just digs into the wallet. We're going to reframe all this, stitch it all back together. There's a piece on this side which is what this is stitched to and we'll stitch all that, glue it all back together. But like I said, the bigger problem is we have got a rotted floor, severely rotted. This is the shower up inside here on the other side. That's the shower pan. We've also got some tank lines here, so we're not going to start doing it from the inside. We're going to go in the in, from the underside. We're going to go on the inside, take out the shower and the tub and patch it back in that way. There's probably a leak in there. But these are the same kind of concerns we had. That's why we need all that plastic in there. We're going to bring, make sure this plastic has enough to come on over this way. We just hung it for there for now. Okay, over this prowler, this is one we've been working on. we got the floor taken out. See all that damage in there? I'm going to go inside and show you. And some of that was caused due to uh, bad plumbing. Had a couple of plumbing leaks. Come in here. see how rotted that is. So that's what we're going to do is put a new piece in here and get this back together and see how we can get it in there. That's probably right in there. We may be able to just get it from that corner back over to this other one. Maybe put a piece of hard stock in there or something. But we'll get it. We had some plumbing issues right here that caused the leaks and also uh, plumbing issues in the shower that seemed to run down the line and the water just traveled down and sat there you can see how it sat in the floor like that and routed it out up underneath the tub. Uh, back here at the prowler, all done. We got all put back together. We got the wall straightened out, we got all that framing done underneath. Get everything all squared away. You do the same to the front, get the front all done. We frame those new ribs that came across. We frame new ones in there. Reframe the the framing itself back in there. Put a new awning on there. Let's see how much we can see in here. We got the floor down. Now we just put that transition going across because we had to rip the floor up. And everything back together the way it should be. So it's nice and sound now. Look at there. You'd never know we were here. We kept everything original. That's the hardest part about working on some of these. You don't want to create a mess. You want to make it look like and go back like the way it came. We tried to save the paper. This was the part of the paper on the other side is that foam panel. And also, well, it's behind that shower. But if you start tearing into it, nothing matches, and then you come in, and even though it may look old, at least it looks consistent. Let's take a quick look. 
up on the roof and show you what we got there. There's our new roof. New glass. Everything's double sealed. All our boots are in. Right there. Right there. The curves are all welded in. Got a flash and detail piece in the front. Put these gutters on here. And even though we put the gutter on, we we'll put a little bit of caulking there so the water doesn't trickle this way, but we at least we'll kick it away from the coach. Other than that, see our strips underneath here. We got our buffer strips going across. We got them going down the edge. So this is done. This needs a bath, and out the door she goes. All right, this is our prowl at the top. We got all our curbs in. All our boots on. Things heat wall it in, wipe the roof down. Try and get some of that booger off of there. But she looks pretty well. She's ready to roll.